Captain's blog, Friday, June 17th, 1634 hours. I got a weird one for you guys. I'm hoping somebody might be able to help me out, okay? Now, we've got this triple stack Variac, and we've got a few of these. These are the GE medical ones. And we had, when, when we first got them, let me, let me take you back and explain this. When we first got them, they come in a box that looks exactly like this. This was originally an x-ray power supply for a GE medical system. And it uses this exact stack of Variac, or, yeah, I think it's this exact stack, and the, a, a different baluster setup over here. Okay, we gutted everything out of the box and we rebuilt it to suit our needs. So, originally they come with Variacs that look like that, or like this, okay, they've got a distinctive connector on top that's how you can tell, and the motor sits up here to move everything. And originally they come hooked up to this, just like this. They label everything, you can see C6, and it's like A, B, C, 6, okay, C5, C8, do, 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 you get on time, okay? Well, they come hooked up with this. And we disconnect them from this because normally we just use the Variax like that, and we handle all our current limiting and balancing and all that offboard. But I've been kicking this around, I've been thinking about this for a long time, and today I just said screw it, and Ekin was here, and I said, hey guys, hook this up, and you know, it's all labeled. They did, and so those wires, we know where all those wires go. Now, what we've got is all these extra wires here, coming out the other side of this. And a lot of them are really tiny, some of them are really fat, you know, they're all different sizes, and this is where it gets really weird. They only come out of two of the three cores. Now this is designed to be hooked up for a three-phase system, and it feeds into a three-phase transformer. So what I'm thinking is that this is actually inductive current limiting and metering, and what all these are is like the big ones are output power, okay, and they would go up here to these fuses. And there's extra stuff, like these little tiny wires, and these are metering connections, and some of them are labeled like A15 right there, and this is just A something or other, and this is A17. Okay, and these are all A's, and these are all B's here. I need to know what these wires do. I need to know exactly what this is. And we have a clue. The clue we have is X-ray department, General Electric Company, 46-137491G4. Now that's your clue, and it came from the factory. We know that this is from, you know, General Electric brand, x-ray medical equipment. And we know that because we took it out of service. So what I'm hoping is somebody out there, one of my viewers, might be able to offer some insight into this so that we can hook it up properly. What I need to know is exactly what this is because I know these are a three-phase Variac system rated for 30 amps. I need to know exactly what this is. I'm pretty sure it's inductive current. And I need to know exactly where all these wires go and what they are. And all it takes is somebody out there who was a technician, who worked on this stuff, who may have access to a drawing, who could like scan and send us a copy, or even just tell us, give me a list of what wires go where, because it's gonna be current metering, it's gonna be voltage metering, it's gonna be all kinds of stuff. Control and monitoring. And that's what I need to know. So I'm hoping that somebody out there can help us out on this project, and if you know, Post a comment, send me an email, info at thegeekgroup.org, will get right to me. Let me know, maybe you can help out because I think this would probably end up being better current limiting than the crappy one that we have because the current limiting we have kinda sucks. And this will let us have three phase, three phase balanced current limiting. And it might even let us go to the holy grail where those act as paralleling chokes in some way, and I'm able to take this and make this into a single phase setup at 100 amps, because that give me three 30 amp Variax, and that's 90 amps, and I can overdrive that, you know, each one of those three amps and pull out 100 amps and be just fine. And that would be awesome if we can pull 100 amps through this thing. So let me know, please comment and help us out, and uh, yeah, that's that. I'll see you guys later, bye.